Hello people, I am Sia Virus here and today we're going to be looking at metals reacting with acids. We're going to be looking at the word equation, we're going to be looking at how the products change depending on what metal we're using and what acid we're using, okay? We're going to give you some information, then a couple questions, then information, then questions. We're going to chunk it down and see whether you can get that information better like that, okay? So, let's jump into it. It's a nightmare. Activate. Metals and acids. The first learning, learning objective is to state what is formed when metals react with acids, okay? Then we have, when metals react with acid, they produce two substances and those are salts and also hydrogen gas. The reaction can be described with the following general equation. A metal plus an acid gives you salt and hydrogen, okay? So let's have an example. First we've got lithium plus hydrochloric acid gives you lithium chloride plus hydrogen then iron plus hydrochloric acid will give you iron chloride plus hydrogen and the third example that we have is zinc zinc plus hydrochloric acid will give you zinc chloride and hydrogen okay when we change the metals the name of the salt will also change and as we are using hydrochloric acid throughout it always going to be chloride okay now task number one Complete the following word equation with the missing reactants or products. That is 10 marks. And what you're gonna have to do is that you're gonna have to find what are the missing bits, what are the missing words in those equations, okay? As always, you can pause the uh, video to get your answers. Right, so hopefully you got most of those right and we're gonna go straight to the answers. Now, if you can spot the pattern, okay? The salt, the name of the salt is always gonna be the name of the metal first and if you're using hydrochloric acid, it will be a chloride, okay? Like I said before, if you understand the rules of the game, it doesn't matter what team is playing, you're always gonna get your answer right, okay? So we know that the name of that salt is going to be the name of the metal, and because we're using hydrochloric acid, we're gonna use chloride. So it doesn't matter what metal you, they, you're given, the results are always going to be the same. A salt and hydrogen, and the name of the salt will have the name of the metal, and chloride because you're using hydrochloric acid. Now moving on, learning objective number two. Compare the reaction of different metals with diluted acids, okay? Now, what we have here is that because different elements have different properties, they will also react differently in chemical reactions. Some elements will react more vigorously than others. Now over here in the picture we have magnesium, it's a magnesium strip reacting with, with, with an acid and you have lots of bubbling happening, lots of um, fizzing and we can call that effervescence as well, okay? That's also called effervescence. So we have loads of bubbles coming out and in those bubbles you have hydrogen gas, okay? Another thing that you may notice is that if you get in contact with the actual test tube, you will feel that the temperature rises or it starts to get hot. And last but not least, we have lead. Now, lead is a very, very um, low reactivity, has very low reactivity, so you can see the least amount of bubbles, meaning that the reaction is still taking place, but is happening a lot slower, okay? So, task number two. Describe what observations can be made when metals react with acids. Once again, you can write that down in your sheet, press pause in the video, so we can move on to the answers afterwards, okay? No cheating, watching. Right, so let's have a look if you got your answers right. This is a four mark question. We're gonna look in, we're gonna be looking for four different things, okay? Not asking you for spelling, grammar, and punctuation, so you could very well done just four bullet points. So let's see what we got. There would be some bubbling and fizzing, also called effervescence. The bubbles will be of hydrogen gas, the temperature will go up, and the metal would eventually disappear. Learning objective number three, describe a metal's reaction with a word equation and a particle diagram. Okay, so we had a look at part of particle diagram before, let's just have a quick recap over here as well, okay? Now, this is what we call a particle diagram. So we have a metal, we have the acid, and we've got the products, which is one of them salt and the other one is hydrogen. Over here is represented in the same way with little circles in different colors so you can understand what's happening in the, in the exchange of atoms. So all the dark ones over here, the gray or 
blackish gray ones, the all zinc particles, okay? So that's the all zinc metal. In here, we have hydrochloric acid. The white ones are hydrogen and the green ones are chlorine, okay? So this is your hydrochloric acid. Once the zinc goes into the actual acid, what would happen is that all of those hydrogens are gonna be replaced by the zinc. So you're gonna end up having zinc chloride and the hydrogen is gonna form gas. So those hydrogens are gonna get together in twos and they're gonna form the hydrogen gas, which is the fizzing and the bubbling, the bubbling that you saw. All those bubbles are actually hydrogen gas being given off, okay? If different metals reacting with acid make different salts, what about if we use different acids instead, okay? Now, if we have lithium plus hydrochloric acid, it will give us lithium chloride plus hydrogen. If you have lithium with sulfuric acid, you will get lithium sulfate plus hydrochloric acid. And if you have lithium reacting with nitric acid, you're gonna get lithium nitrate plus hydrochloric acid, okay? So what we gotta take from here is that depending on what acid you're using, the name of the salt can also change. So if you have lithium with hydrochloric acid, you're gonna get lithium hydroxide. If you have lithium with sulfuric acid, you're gonna get lithium sulfate. Task number three. Complete the following word equations with the missing salts. So, as always, you can pause the video, get your answers right, and when we come back, then we can mark your answer, okay? Ten, uh, seven marks, so let's see how much you get. Okay, so, we're back. Now we're gonna check the answers and we'll see how much you got, okay? So, there we go. First one would be potassium sulfate, then you have calcium chloride, beryllium nitrate, magnesium sulfate, sodium chloride, nickel nitrate, and aluminium sulfate, okay? If you got seven out of seven, top man or gal. Well, not all elements have same properties, so they react differently with acid, okay? Now, what we have here is a list of elements from the most reactive at the top and then the least reactive at the bottom. Now, if you remember here, magnesium had the most effervescence, the most bubbling happening in the highest temperature, and that's because magnesium is a very reactive element. Then we have lead, and then we have lead over here. So as you go down the group, there will be less fizzing, less hydrogen being produced in the same amount of time, and less temperature rising, okay? So now, how do we know that the bubbles that are being given off in this reaction are actually hydrogen? So there's a very easy thing to do. When you have a test tube, you pour in your acid, you pour in your, uh, your piece of metal, and as it starts to fizz and bubble on the top, you put another um, another test tube to gather all the gas that's being formed. And what you do with hydrogen is that you, if you get a splint um, with a naked flame on it and you put it in, it makes a, a very loud, squeaky, popping sound system. Task number four. Write down what would you observe when magnesium reacts with sulfuric acid and compare it with the reaction of lead and sulfuric acid. Include the word equations and a test for hydrogen. So, as always, you can pause it and we'll get your answers in a minute. Right, so let's have a look at the answers. Magnesium and sulfuric acid will give you magnesium sulfate and hydrogen. That will be one mark because magnesium is a very reactive metal. It will produce bubbles vigorously and fizz. Two marks. The temperature will go up. Three marks. Now, lead plus sulfuric acid will give you lead sulfate plus hydrogen gas. Another mark, that's four marks. Because lead is not very reactive, the reaction will be very slow and it will depend on the concentration of the acid, okay? So that's the reason why, because lead is not very reactive, the, the reaction is actually gonna be very slow. Then you have hydrogen can be tested by using a naked flame and you will hear a popping sound. That's it, that is very easy, six marks, done and dusted, okay? Right, so that was metals reacting with acids. Hopefully you have a better understanding of what happens when the metal reacts with an acid, the products, and how the name of the salts can change when you change the metals or when you change the acid, okay? So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please press the like button, subscribe, and you can leave your comments at the bottom and telling us how much you got in your score from those actual questions. And as always, knowledge is power. So see you next time.